Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you something that will change your lives today. Well, it might or it might not, but let's pretend it will. Digital literacy and sustainability. Let's dive into it like a trending hashtag. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tia. And today, I am honored to share with you how digital literacy can empower us and pave the way to a sustainable future. As someone deeply immersed in researching this topic for my master's, I want to share some insights that can truly make a difference. Now, how many of you have a smartphone in your pocket? Anyone? How many of you feel confident in using all its features and applications? Thank you. Digital literacy isn't just about knowing how to use a device. It's about leveraging technology to create positive change. Why should we care about digital literacy? In an increasingly digitized world, someone with a lack of digital literacy could feel behind, disconnected from opportunities, and unable to contribute to solutions for the global challenges we face. It's the ability to use technology, technology efficiently. It's like being able to cook a gourmet meal instead of a burning toast. Imagine the internet as a vast ocean of cat videos and memes, where there are tools, resources, and opportunities beneath the surface. And no, I'm not talking about viral dance challenges. Digital literacy is the ability to use technologies to communicate, to find, evaluate, create, using both cognitive and technical skills. It's the ability to and it's the competencies of digital citizenship and ethical understanding. Now, I remember when my grandma first used a smartphone, she thought swipe was something you did with a broom. After a few hilarious attempts and um, putting a random person as her profile picture on WhatsApp, um, she finally mastered it, I think. Now she's a digital diva, connecting with family and accessing news. If my grandma can do it, anyone can. But not everyone has this opportunity. In some parts of the world, digital literacy is a luxury. Imagine trying to navigate your way in this world without knowing how to use computer or the internet. It's like trying to find your way in a new city without knowing how to use the GPS or the map. Utter chaos. So how do we empower people to digital, liter to digital literacy? Collaboration. It's like a group project where everyone does their part. Imagine schools, communities, and government work together. Schools can integrate digital literacy into their curriculum, communities provide access to technology, and the government gives policies and funding. Why? Digital literacy gives access to a wealth of information, from educational resources to healthcare information. It opens up new job opportunities. For example, a visionary entrepreneur could recognize the challenges faced by traditional farmers due to a lack of data. Using and leveraging their expertise, they could create a digital platform to track weather and soil conditions. This innovative approach supports SDG to zero hunger by introducing smart practices and also food production sustainably. This exemplifies the power of digitalization in uplifting our communities. Digital literacy also promotes social inclusion. Think about how social media platforms have allowed marginalized voices to be heard and have also mobilized global movements. Schools and educational institutions must integrate digital literacy into their curriculums. Take Estonia, for example. They've integrated digital literacy from such a young age. Students learn to code before they can even learn algebra. The result, a nation thriving in an informed population. This opens up new world of possibilities. Digital literacy also. Imagine if you are a child in rural India unable to access digital literacy or any opportunities. A project founded by Vikram Jitsahni brings mobile solar computer labs to your communities. Here, you can learn digital transactions and internet browsing. 
Since its establishment in 2018, the project has trained over 4,000 students. And as of 2024, it has scaled even significantly, bridging even more students in rural states of India. Digital literacy is key to achieving many of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals from quality education to gender equality. For instance, it can empower women, allowing us to access education and economic opportunities. It fosters innovation, enabling us to solve complex problems through collaborative digital platforms. Imagine a world where anyone, anywhere, can contribute to solving global challenges through digital innovation. As we move towards an increasingly digital world, we must equip ourselves and others with the skills to navigate this landscape. Once again, it's not just a skill, but a pathway to empowerment. But this isn't just about waiting for NGOs or the government to act. Have you done enough? You have a phone. Are you using it to the fullest? Each of us can make a difference. Volunteer to teach digital skills, donate your old devices, or help someone navigate their first online transaction. Small actions can lead to big changes. So I challenge you today. Take a step towards enhancing your digital literacy. Share your knowledge with others. Advocate for digital literacy training in your communities. Together, we can create a community that is not only digitally, digitally literate, but also sustainable future. So the next time you see a cat video, remember that beneath those cute little whiskers lies the power of the internet, ready to be harnessed for a sustainable future. And with that, I'd like to honor Meme as a Gen Z. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs>